With allegations of sexual misconduct being leveled against Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore, the list of powerful men in America who are either accused or are guilty of sexually abusing women is growing absurdly large. Bill Clinton, Bill Cosby, Bill O'Reilly, they're old news. I, I can't do it. Now we've got newsmen like Mark Halperin. Five women say he propositioned them or touched them inappropriately. Hollywood king and queenmaker Harvey Weinstein is in hot water for multiple counts of sexual coercion and rape. Director James Toback, 238 women have accused him of the same. And the list keeps going because as it turns out, Hollywood is just a giant cesspool of human vermin. Shocking. I mean, who could have expected that from an industry that, upon hearing that one of their own, Roman Polanski, had raped a minor, reacted this way at the mere mention of his name? Roman Polanski. High quality people out there. But don't get me wrong, all this hasn't been and isn't confined to just the sickos in Hollywood. As it turns out, it's pretty widespread. Shoot, some lady posted on Twitter, quote, hey women, retweet this if you have ever been shown a penis that you didn't want or expect to see. He took it out. So far, it's accumulated well over 208,000 retweets. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, the first question this solicits, of course, is are there really that many men that have decided this is a solid approach? Who thinks that way? You know, I don't really know this chick, but I think I'd like to. So instead of just saying, hey, I think I'm gonna go ahead and lead with my genitals. What? There's also actress Alyssa Milano who started the viral hashtag MeToo, encouraging women on social media to share if they also have been victims of sexual aggression by pig men. Some of their stories have been sickening and gross. Reading them, you'd think it might start to dawn on us that maybe this whole sexual revolution thing wasn't such a dad burn beautiful idea after all. That in a culture where the only rule for sex is that it is consensual, those boundaries are going to be aggressively crossed regularly by the powerful. That maybe mocking men like Vice President Mike Pence, who maintains a strict personal code of conduct when dealing with women in order to respect his wife and protect his marriage? Maybe that makes you part of the problem. That maybe there's something wrong when monogamous marriage and modesty are more scandalous in our culture than hookup culture, promiscuity, and suggestive innuendo. That rather than being deserving of an entire research institute named for him, Alfred Kinsey was just a giant perv child molester who set off a generation of Weinsteins and Cosbys and Polanskys and Sanduskys. That rather than freeing us to a liberating sexual expression, this disastrous cultural movement has actually shackled us under the weighty consequences of sexual sin. That maybe sex is a powerful intimacy that should be guarded and protected in a covenant relationship with public accountability, rather than just a meaningless activity to be traded on the open market between any consenting bodies that are slaves to their own urges. Crazy thought here, but maybe God's moral guidepost that told us sex should be confined to marriage would actually have made us all safer, happier, and healthier if we would have listened. Huh. God right and Hollywood wrong. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought?